Happy Tuesday, Internet guys and gals. You are watching Game Informer's Test Chamber of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. I'm your host, Andrew Reiner, also the ultimate of the Game Informer staff. I also have Tim Turry with me. I'm I'm also ultimate, just to kind of clear that up. You are? Yeah. And then another ultimate is Lele Azersheen Tobin Squirtle. Squirtle? <laughs> no, I threw on that last one. Lele, how you doing? Good. And then we have Jason A. Stryker, who is playing on the Wii U, and Lele is playing on the 3DS. Has Lele ever been on a test chamber before? No, this is, a fir- this is a first time production a, a production member who lays out the magazine has been in one of our videos. Also right. a huge Monster Hunter fan. Yeah. Huge. That's why we have her on here, because she uh, she knows everything about this series. Like, 9 out of 10 well. conversations I have with Lele <laughs> end up uh, discussing Monster Hunter and why haven't I played it at some point. So we're actually following uh, Jason here. He's Unistrike. Uh, Lele is playing Merp. Merp. She's on a 3DS right now. Yeah, I'm going to embarrass myself because this is like the first time I've used a 3DS and I didn't play Try. I'm like played the old school ones, so it's a little new. There's some new stuff. Mm. I'm real newbie. And there's not two analog sticks by default on the XL, which she's playing on. So you kind of got to do this little digital uh, touchscreen, um, you know, secondary D-pad. Yeah, it kind of emulates the uh, the D pad on the left. Yeah, and I, I think it works pretty well. It's it little, it's it could a be worse. Slow, yeah, but uh, I think it works okay. And don't worry, Lele. Nobody on the internet critiques anybody's playing habits <laughs> or styles or anything <laughs> sure. like that. No. Uh, so oh, I what go. I gather is uh, these guys are prepping for a co op mission right now. Um, co op in the game is so you can have one person playing on the Wii, the Wii U, and then you can have up to three people with 3DSs. Uh, locally. Yeah, locally, jamming alongside. The 3DS version cannot connect to the internet to play online. It's only local, but uh, the Wii U can. Correct. Yeah. I did. A, I did. I previewed this game at a Capcom event a few weeks ago in San Francisco, and that kind of, like, sparked my interest a little bit. Um, really curious about, like, the save swapping between the 3DS and the Wii U. If you buy both versions, you can, like, play on the 3DS and then swap it over to the the wii u mm-hmm. um and then also just the idea of like hey jason what's up you want to play monster hunter i'm gonna come over and play my 3ds um and so i've been also curious to try out the the franchise for a while to see all the hubbub is about so we're in some kind of ominous cave where mankind probably should never be jason how far into the game are we um i think i've got about 20 hours but uh i think about 18 of those were hunting for carpenter bugs because i really wanted this cool armor check it out like you're you sort look of like Rising Zan. I got like a Clint Eastwood thing going on. I love it. Meets gigantic no. chainsaw sword. Yeah. Ooh, so cool. And uh, who's Cha Cha? Cha Cha is my dude. He's my homie. Um, Cha Cha is one of your uh, followers, your familiars. Um, it's kind of like a support uh, dude. What he, he'll actually taunt enemies, which makes this Ooh. game so much easier. That's cool. Um, so sort of distraction. Yep, exactly. that's really cool. All right. So, just to sort of clarify for anyone that's watching this that hasn't, you know, seen or really tinkered with the uh, the Monster Hunter franchise at all, it is basically there is not really a core plot except you are a Monster Hunter. You're the new Monster Hunter in town. Kill a ton of monsters and get good gear. Like it's just kind of that resource gathering, uh, loot collecting, gear crafting grind that is what this series is all about. Grind is really the operative word here. Uh, yeah, whenever you, you you kill monsters, you can carve them up and, and you know use their body parts mm-hmm. and various weapons or armor or you know make potions or anything. Just just for an example, just to take a look at some of the items that you can combine here. I mean, I've got 22 pages worth of stuff. <laughs> it is <laughs> overwhelming how I much crap it. you can do in yeah, this game. It, it is ridiculous, and you know a lot of these are like you know you can craft different types Late. of bullets or. What are you doing kicking this cha-cha? Oh, cha-cha. Cha-cha's going to save our butts here in a little bit. My so butt Lale, for sure. How, what Monster uh, Hunter game did you fall in love with? What was the first one that you the really first, started playing? The first one I played was the original on PS2, which I joined <laughs> joined up very late in its life lifespan and played a lot for maybe like a year, and then they shut the servers off. <laughs> and oh, then I have... Monster Hunter Freedom Unite also on PSP. Is this your first first time playing uh, 3? Yeah, I didn't play Try on the Wii. Uh, I spent a couple hours earlier today kind of learning how to at Thank least you, use the 3DS here. Gotcha. But 
Basically, I'm trying not to die right now. I'm not going to be very helpful in the quest, really, probably. Yeah, Lele's character is pretty early. Um, I have nothing. Yeah, she's got pretty much starter equipment, so this is going to be... Uh, this is going to be a blowout, but it's going to be fun, right? Jason, what kind of buff do you have active right now? Uh, defense. Uh, that's from Cha Cha. Oh, awesome. One thing that we forgot to do is uh, you can eat food, uh, which is made by a cat. Early in the game. <laughs> There's lots of cats in the world. <laughs> there are Monster tons Hunter. of cats, and these these cats are <laughs> bastards because they're trying to steal my stuff right now. They will. Yeah. Unless you have a fell vine. I then don't. They'll, then they'll just take that. Another big important thing about uh, any quest that you go on is to be prepared. Um, so you usually get a pretty good idea of which monsters are going to be inside of there. And uh, as Lele mentioned, if you've got you know certain like counter type of items, um, those are good to bring. What but, zone are we going to here? Uh, we are trying to find the Rathios right now. She could be anywhere. What is is that a is that a big uh, monster like the legendary? What are they called? Mm -hmm. She is not or an is it elder a dragon. Okay. She's a. Uh, one of the two. Oh, here she is. Well, because there's there's different. So there's your die. ordinary monsters that are just roaming around. But there's also like the gigantic either dragons or I fought like some giant nine. giant bear bear uh, guy. Nine, yeah. And they follow you from like you know zone to zone, or you can track them down. Um, and they're more substantial, like that. Yes, she is pretty substantial. So the combat in Monster Hunter is she's uh, beautiful. Little slow paced, very deliberate. There's not a lock on function. There's going to be a lot of hit and move type things. Yeah, you know you have a roll and a sprint, which yep. is probably your main. Yeah, but also a stamina bar to uh, to worry about here as well. And then depending on the weapon, you can either block or do like some sort of special roundhouse attack or swing move. Yeah, unfortunately the uh, the weapon I have I cannot block with. Okay. Oh, their monsters look so great. They really do. You got like the grassy stuff growing on its back. Hey, do you guys watch that BBC show Primeval? Mm -mm. No. No? No. There's this little dinosaur that flies around that's like part of the team, and it kind of looks like a diminutive version of this guy. Oh, cool. I do not like fighting her in close quarters. This, uh, I know, this is lame sauce. I'm yeah, like I said, with the hit and run stuff, uh, especially with the bigger weapons, they're very, very slow. Uh, so you might not get like a full combo off. Oops. I'm the kind of gamer that tends to like gravitate towards the slow heavy weapons because I'm more deliberate when I attack like mm -hmm. but there's something I was tinkering around with like just a gigantic sword that I made out of some monster's bones yeah. uh, yesterday and it's almost I, I swung and hit air so much yeah. I don't know if it's just I'm a new player and I'm not used to that deliberate action but that's, that's definitely that is, what it is I did feel like they fixed the hit detection a little bit from the like super old one it's not as like demanding now uh, well, or a little more forgiving you're, it's easier to miss now which oh, is it's easier to miss. which is good okay. actually it was a little bit broken in the first one and okay. uh, you could uh have we would call it headlock the monsters i'm sure jason knows what i'm talking about oh, yeah. you would just kind of like cheese it yeah, yeah you would get them to lock into their animation repeatedly and then just kind of kill oh, them oh so instantly. like an exploit and it's a little bit yeah, harder to and i mean okay. There are reasons for doing that because there's a lot of grinding in this game to get yeah. certain items, but uh, it's a lot harder to. This damn do carpenter that now. bugs. Now Lele marked him with a or her with a, a paintball, so you see the uh, up in uh, what zone is that nine? Uh, you got like a, a yellow like circle that just moved to, to zone ten. 10. Again? Yep. So now we got to deal with those. And speaking of deliberate, the cats. Uh, there are. No, like, quick potions that you drop or everything that you want to do, whether it's, like, I want to roast some raw meat so I can recover my stamina or I want to, you know, take this med potion so that I can not get killed right away. Everything has a pretty substantial animation time. It actually reminded me of, like, Blue Stinger when uh, I just wanted, like, quick get some health and recover, but you can just get attacked mid-animation and yep. get, you know, thrown off course and... No, 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 no. Uh, it's it's definitely a, it's a very Japanese game like through and through with with that. This game doesn't seem to have evolved that much over the years. No, and actually, it, it's an extremely I, I use this term a lot. It's an acquired taste. Yeah. Um, you know, at, at first glance, you know that there's so many like archaic functionalities. Like like I said, there's not a lock on or uh -huh. or something like that. You can't cancel out of attack animations, but um, I don't know. The payoff to these games I'm for me is I. I don't know. It's, it's an extremely rewarding co-op experience. Okay. 
Uh, you might not be getting the full experience here with uh, Lele and I just kind of talking you know, over this, but uh, when you're in a good group, man, I mean, you've really got to have stuff planned out. Yeah. You know, people setting bombs and stuff. And yeah, you can set like traps with meat that lures monsters like this over to give you, you know, advantage over them. Yep. Or you can have someone like focus on, I'm going to attack his, uh, his tail, so I cut it off and then uh, he'll stop doing that swing oh, maneuver. Um, Oops. There you can it. see there's a friendly fire here. Uh, we were just uh -oh. on one another. From what I gathered, the friendly fire only stuns them. It doesn't actually do damage. Yeah, so but, but you it'll, it'll knock you out of uh, animation, yeah. so, which is kind of frustrating. Oops. Yeah, from my experience, you know, I'm only about six hours into uh, into the game, but I can say that like all the trappings of it are addictive and, and, and interesting, but the actual gameplay itself is not satisfying, oh, in well. my opinion. Uh, so, Jason, for people that loved it on Wii... Obviously, you're getting new HD graphics on the Wii U. Well, is it uh, is it worth revisiting again for the ultimate? I think you kind of have to. Um, they're pulling down the servers uh, for Try in about a month or so, uh, so this is going to be the only way that you're going to be able to play this online. Um, whether or not it's a, a huge leap forward, um, it's kind of tough to say. I mean, they've added a ton of new quests. There's a few new monsters, Oops. Um, lots of items. Um, so there's. Uh, there's stuff to check out. Ooh. I'm sorry. How many times can you die in a mission? It's like three. Three uh, total yeah. between okay. everybody. Right, so I, gotta get <laughs> I love your run animation. Oh, I know. He's, oh, he is scared. It's hilarious. Mega <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, So, Try was only like 09 or 2010? Or like only that. 2010? That wasn't too long ago. Right? That That's oh, sort wait. of a bummer. But at least this one has local play, so... And it looks nice. Yeah, you don't have to worry about servers in order to play, you know with friends that are near you. Right. And I'm stunned, and there's a good chance there's going to be death. Which is part of this yeah, game. Yeah, so dead right now. Oh, boy. So Cha-Cha's back, thankfully. Cha-Cha um, will taunt the enemy, so she'll focus on, on Cha-Cha in a little bit. And Jason, is there any functionality with the gamepad? Uh, they, quite a bit, actually. Um, they, they've done some really cool things with the, uh, the second screen. Uh, all of the panels that you can add, you know, whether it be the uh, you know, simulated D-pad or item combinations, uh, they're all customizable. So you can choose which panels you want on that second screen. Yeah, like I chose to, my map was originally on the game screen, and I chose to, or on the, on the TV, and I chose to drag that down oh and put it on the game pad to kind of free up some room, and I thought that it was a good use of the space, uh, and I, I like that customization. Same, uh, can the same be said of the 3DS game? It is, exactly, in fact. Cool. And there's oh, some defaults and some sort of, there's some, some default or custom made uh, preset panel um, organization that you can kind of choose from these, uh, these, these layouts if you want, um, which is nice. But I will, I will, like if you want to hop on into this game and you don't have someone like Jason or Lele in your life, which I'm fortunate enough to, like this game does not hold your hand. No, you, not at all. And also like, you have to scroll through a ton of text in order to get like the meat of what you need to be doing and without story sort of uh, giving you context or, or some sort of enticement to be reading what these characters are saying, mm -hmm. it gets really like sort of cumbersome. It, there's a steep learning curve, like absolutely. And you're probably going to have to go online to check things out a few times. Because uh, this game is a legacy, man, and they, there's a certain amount of implied knowledge. Oh, definitely, yeah. They did. They hit it right on the head, man. There's no hand holding here. What's frustrating as well, well, not frustrating, but, uh, oh. man, the in game text that you get, you know, your conversations, ouch, with, uh, with all the NPCs, um, it's very, very lighthearted. And they don't give you a ton of information. They kind of focus more on uh, one liners and comedic bits, I think. Well, I think that's going to conclude our look at this game, and we're just going to assume you guys kicked the living crap out of this thing oh, and yeah. made, like, purses and mercies and all the, yeah. that awesome stuff out of it. There's some cool armor you can get off the, uh, the Rathios here. Thank you, Ole, for playing and bringing your expert opinion, and Tim and Jason, as always, and all of you for watching. We'll see you on the next episode of Test Chamber.